Heavenly Father, we come to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. We ask, Father, as we pray today for first responders, emergency medical personnel, law enforcement, firemen, and all of those that work in our communities. Lord, we pray today, right now, that you will cover them wherever they are. We pray for their vehicles, that they will have traveling mercies as they travel back and forth throughout this day. We ask you, Lord, to loose your angels around and about them and any passengers that may be in their vehicles. Lord Jesus, protect these workers from hurt, harm, and danger while they serve in our communities and in our hospitals. Give them each alertness, an awakened and sharp mind with abundant energy and stamina to grow through what they are having to face from the time they get up until the time they fall asleep. Prepare them mentally and physically to handle each situation as it arises. Place them on the hearts and minds of your intercessors and prayer warriors everywhere in the nation to stand in the gap and make up a hedge of protection for their lives. We ask you, Lord Jesus, to shield, protect, and keep them from mental and physical injury, hurt, harm, broken limbs, bodily damage, and trauma. Also protect their vehicles from other vehicles and people as they travel in the streets. Bless them in what they put their hands to do for us and for our communities. Renew and refresh their soul and body as they go to and fro, that stress, fatigue, and bad health will not have any place in their lives. Lord Jesus, we ask you to destroy the power of all wrong words. We bind evil schemes against them today. We render them totally ineffective throughout this day and into tomorrow. Lord, cause their minds to focus clearly to achieve each task set before them. Lord, we pray that you restore, bless, and prosper their marriages, friendships, and family relationships, that they and their loved ones come to know you, your love, your mercy, your saving grace, and come into an intimate knowing and relationship with the one true Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the Son of God. And all these things, according to your sovereign will, to God be the glory. Amen.